If there was one place you could be magically transported to right now, anywhere in the world, to have a delicious meal outdoors, where would you be? And Kimberly, since we've been chatting, I'm going to start with you. Oh, wow. I'm telling you, I'm so looking forward to simple pleasures like riding in a car with a girlfriend. Just, <laughs> oh my gosh. But I think I would go, right? I think I would go back to Ecuador. It was so beautiful. And we did these long, rugged hikes and we carried a backpack with our lunch on our back. And then we stopped at a waterfall and we had the simplest lunch, like hard boiled eggs taste so good if you've been hiking for six hours, right? Yes. So it's not about a fine dining experience for me. It's about like FaceTime with, oh, I miss so many people. I think that's saying a lot because we know that you've traveled so extensively everywhere and it's that simple moment of, you know, climbing and seeing that, you know, the beautiful waterfall and eating a simple meal, but it's eating in communion with a girlfriend. I think that really, and the, and the view, that made it so beautiful. So I think that's lovely. Amanda, I'm going to go to you now. I'm just, I'm teleporting you anywhere you want to go and you're going to have a meal. Where do you pick? You know what? I'm with Kimberly. I'm with Kimberly in the South American aspect. My husband and I spent about six months in Brazil in the Amazon basin, and I miss that street food. I miss the street meat, all the grilled pineapple, all the smells and the flavors, and really just sitting down at these tiny little kiosks, observing the locals, watching the rainfall, and just taking it all in. Oh, street food, there is nothing better. Uh, like, that's how you really enjoy a culture, right? I love that. Okay, bro laws, I don't know if you have a same answer or different answers, but if I'm poof, I'm going to teleport you to anywhere in the world and you're going to have an outdoor meal, what's it going to be? Where are you going to go? Well, I'm going to stick with the tropical theme because as you can see right now, this isn't doing it for me. So if I can be transported anywhere, you can put me on an overseas villa in Tahiti with some all-you-can-eat sushi, and I am happy. See, and I'm a little bit simpler. Uh, just give me a backyard barbecue and a bonfire with friends and family because I just truly really miss people so much. Yes. Give me a backyard barbecue without the rain, please. Yeah. <laughs> Claire, if I can teleport you anywhere in the world and you're going to have an outdoor meal, where are you going? Uh, I'm going immediately to Rome, my favorite city on earth. Uh, I'm going to sit on a patio in Trastevere with a large glass of wine and a beautiful bowl of the classic Roman dish, pasta carbonara, maybe some gnocchi, but the number one thing, and I always say the best thing about any meal, it's not about the food, it's about who's across the table. And I'd love to see my mom, haven't seen her in so long and I would just love to be in Rome with my mama eating some pasta carbonara. It sounds absolutely perfect. I do, I'm going to do a combo of Dave and Claire. So I'm going to say around my parents kitchen table, whatever my mom has on the stove in a pot, chatting for about six hours about nothing and everything. Or straight back to Siracusa with Leo under an old banyan tree, having a gorgeous meal, uh, wine from the local winery and food uh, from the local area and the farms. That was a moment I am anxious to replicate as soon as we are safe to get on a plane again. So I love all of your answers.